Sam Bradford era in Oklahoma history is officially over. He's going to the NFL draft. So what's next now for the Sooners? Well, it's Kansas State at home. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. It's the college football preview show presented by Tyson Any Tizers. Let's bring in CBS Sports' Spencer Tillman to uh, get into this a little bit. And Spencer, uh, they went into Kansas and dominated the Jayhawks. How far can this defense carry them in terms of the big picture of Oklahoma football the rest of this season? Well, in terms of reality, I don't think they're thinking. Obviously, they're out of the national championship hunt. Uh, the, the Big 12 championship is a, you know, uh, pretty much a far gone conclusion, except if t Texas has a colossal stumble, and I don't think that happens. Um, I, I think that this Oklahoma team is taking one game at a time. They're playing exceptionally well on defense, and their offense is improving. So uh, I think that's the approach that Bob Stoops has taken. You look at Landry Jones, Spence, and what he has done so far this season. Where do you see him the rest of the way for Oklahoma? Well, he's only going to get better, and I think he set a high watermark in his second game back after Sam Bradford's first uh, shoulder problems. Again, six touchdown passes in that contest, breaking a record that was established by two former Heisman Trophy winners. I mean, so there you go. I think long term, they're set with him at quarterback. They're only going to get better on the offensive side of the ball. You know, as a Sooner, a former Sooner, you just only would hope to see that that offensive continuity would be on par with the defense right now. I think this Oklahoma team will be back to the levels that they were last year, but it's going to take a while for that to happen. All right, Spencer. We got Kansas State in this in this game this weekend, and I think at the beginning of the season, neither you nor I ever thought we'd have, be doing a preview that involved <laughs> Kansas State because I don't think anybody thought that they'd be good enough to, uh, to, yeah. to get into that conversation. But you look at the Wildcats, they are leading the Big 12 North. How are they doing it? Well, you know what? I, no, no disrespect to Bill Snyder. You know, I have tremendous respect for him and what he's done in Act Two so far. But I'm not so sure for, sure how much of that is a result of uh, the two favorites, uh, Kansas and Nebraska, really having lackluster performances, inexplicably getting beaten a couple of weeks ago, both of them on the same weekend. Uh, they were the favorites in the Big 12 North, and they've not really played like favorites. So I'm not so sure that Kansas State, uh, where they are, is not by default more than it is uh, what they've done successfully themselves. Yeah, and this goes round and round, too, with Kansas State, Spence. I mean, they lost 66-14 to Texas Tech. They beat A&M 62-14, who then beat <laughs> Texas Tech 52-30. to I mean, it, other than Texas and Oklahoma and, and uh, Oklahoma State, the Big 12 does not have those great teams that we saw last year. A 180 degree shift. And again, maybe the most recent example in terms of the team that's up there in the top of the North, Grant Gregory, the quarterback at Kansas State, is not playing well. I mean, he had a 50% completion percentage against Colorado and that close win. And you know what? Look, that's the best that the North has to offer. I know Todd Reeson is there at Kansas, but in terms of the team that's on top, their quarterback is a not very good one. And that's uh, with uh, Bill Snyder's uh, exact words. So uh, we'll see where they wind up. It's amazing how it's flipped with Kansas, Nebraska, and Missouri all at the bottom and Kansas State, Iowa State, and Colorado. <laughs> Colorado uh, at the top of the Big 12 North. All right, nobody's going to pick Kansas State to win this game going to Oklahoma, Spence. So give me one key. If they were to pull the upset, how would it happen? Well, they've got, number one, to have a total breakdown by Oklahoma's defense. Uh, they've got to get a tremendous amount of turnovers, and their quarterback, Grant Gregory, has to play error-free football, uh, and he hasn't done that recently. And barring that, it would take a miracle for them to beat Oklahoma at their place. Well, it's the second-best rushing team in, in the Big 12, but this is an Oklahoma yep. defense that does not give up uh, yards on the ground, as we saw uh, in every game so far this season. Spence, thank you very much, sir. We'll see you Saturday on CBS. Okay, Jason, we'll see you, buddy. All right, folks, for more on this game, stay right here with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the College Football Preview Show presented by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.